How much money do I make per month? Why do I look 12? What are my plans for later adulthood? All of those questions are going to be answered in this Financial Wolf Q&A special, so stay tuned. Wow, guys, it's honestly been like six months since my last Q&A video on this channel, and I honestly really enjoy making them since it's a nice change of pace for my typical content, which takes like 10 to 12 hours to produce a single video, which is absolutely crazy, but I obviously love making those videos, but the Q&As are a nice change of pace. Anyways, this morning, I posted a quick poll on my Instagram where I asked you guys to ask me any type of questions you wanted the answer to, and the first question I got comes in from my guy, Ezra period M10, and he asked if you were on an entrepreneurial journey, what would your job be? So before I realized I wanted to work for myself in the future, my goal was to become a stockbroker on Wall Street, and that's actually why I called this YouTube channel Financial Wolf, because when I first started it, that was my plan. I wanted to make videos on finance and investing and then show you guys my journey of becoming a stockbroker on Wall Street. Obviously, that would be super interesting content, but uh, that's not my plan anymore. I don't really want to work for anyone else in the future. I want to have the freedom to travel around the world and the richest people don't have typical nine to five jobs, even if it's on Wall Street. The second question I'm super excited to answer in this Q&A video comes in and it asks, what age were you when you started your first business? So this is kind of a funny story, but when I was around the age of 13 years old in seventh grade I went to this really small Catholic grade school with like 40 kids in my entire class and for some reason there was this really weird trend going on where students would take Smarties candy crush it up and then either snort it or smoke it like it was drugs I honestly have no idea why kids in my grade did this type of stuff. It was really weird, but then again, we were in middle school and it was always a really big deal if anyone had Smarties and the idiot kids in my grade would be willing to pay like 25 cents or 50 cents for Smarties. And me being the savvy businessman I am at the time, I saw this as an opportunity to make some money. So I went to Walmart, bought a big bag of Smarties for $5. Then I would sell them to the students in my grade for like 25 or 50 cents each. And I honestly made some pretty good money for myself at the time. I'm doing it. I was probably bringing home like 20, 25 bucks a week. And I even had some friends who I trusted enough to help sell the Smarties for me. This was my first experience selling candy at school. And I even did it again once I got to high school. But that time I didn't just sell Smarties. I also sold a bunch of other candy. And I even filmed YouTube videos on this channel, which got like 1.2 million total views. And it made like $6,000 in ad revenue for making those type of videos. And honestly, guys, I don't regret doing it whatsoever, even though my school got super mad at me. I can finally tell that story once I graduate from high school, so stay tuned for that. Question numero trace asked, how you get motivated to keep hustling? So this is kind of a difficult question to answer, my friend, since I'm not always motivated to keep on working hard. For example, this morning I woke up thinking I was going to make a video on driving for Postmates, but unfortunately, due to some complications with the entire setup process, I'm not really able to make that video for another couple of days. So after I realized that, I set on the couch kind of sad and I thought what video am I going to make today? I thought today was just going to be a wasted day until I thought you know what a Q&A is better than nothing. Something I've realized about working for yourself is that having a plan for each and every single day individually will really make or break your day productivity wise. What I mean by this is if you wake up in the morning having no idea what you need to get done that day you're probably not going to have the best day productivity wise because you're going to spend a good portion of your morning thinking about what you need to get done that day. My recommendation recommendation is to plan out your day the night before and obviously you're still gonna have your good days and bad days even if you do this but that way you're gonna have most of your days planned out where you can get right into things and even if you have days where your plans fall through like I did today you want to adapt as fast as possible and try to do something because doing something is better than doing nothing moving on to my car the fourth question I got for this Q&A video comes in and it asks how much money do you make per month this was honestly a question I got a lot in my Q&A poll on Instagram and I was kind of hesitant to answer it but then I thought I want to be the guy who isn't scared to tell you guys anything and well the answer to that is I make anywhere between five and eight thousand dollars per month in February I made a total of seven thousand dollars and that can be broken down by earning five thousand dollars from YouTube ad revenue on my videos one thousand five hundred dollars for affiliate marketing on my YouTube channel I made four hundred dollars from day trading stocks and finally I earned about two hundred dollars in my first few weeks with Amazon FBA right now the majority 
majority of my income still comes from YouTube ad revenue and affiliate marketing, but I wouldn't be surprised if that slowly starts to change because I finally found two businesses that I really enjoy and that is Amazon FBA and day trading. If I keep working hard with these businesses, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get them up to at least one to two thousand dollars per month and I honestly wouldn't be surprised that next month my income from those businesses will pass the four figure mark. Question number five comes in for my boy Bogdan and he asked what is the best side hustle to start as a beginner? So this is kind of a difficult question to answer since it really depends on what situation you're in and also what your age is since a lot of side hustles will be out of reach if you're under the age of 18 years old. If I were to give you guys any advice one side hustle that I would say pretty much anyone can do is reselling. It's a really easy way to make an extra one to two thousand dollars per month and some of the items I would look into reselling include electronics, sneakers, or even books if you're able to create an Amazon FBA account. Some of the side hustles I would recommend for those of you who are a little bit older is potentially learning how to day trade or driving for Postmates. At least for someone like me, these seem like super interesting side hustles to try out and you can also make some pretty good money with them if you can get past the learning curves. In all honesty, guys, just find a side hustle that you enjoy doing and try and stick with it. Pretty much every single one of them work to make money. You just have to enjoy it and stick with it long enough to be successful. To finish this Q&A off, I do have two more questions from you guys that I want to answer. But first, I want to head over to a really cool spot that I go to with all of my friends because it's super awesome and I want to show you guys. All right, guys, so I officially pulled up to the cool wood spot that I want to show you. I call it like the vibe spot. It's a really nice area. Um, as you guys can see in front of me, it's kind of like a woods area, but it's really pretty once you get further in. So I'm going to walk a little bit further in here and then I'll answer your guys' questions. I've officially pulled up to the cool part of the trail. I wanted to sit to answer the last couple of questions. The camera doesn't do it a lot of justice. It looks really, really cool in person, at least for Wisconsin. Wisconsin's not that pretty of an area. Anyways, guys, the next question I wanted to address came in from one of you guys and it asked, what are your plans for after high school slash are you gonna be moving out of your parents' house? So this is kind of a difficult question to answer since I'm not really too sure what I'm going to be doing next year. I might be going to college. I might be doing YouTube full-time. We'll have to see. I'm probably going to end up doing college at least part-time because I think I'll be able to manage both because I'm managing it pretty well while being in high school right now. So that's probably gonna be the plan for next year and I'm gonna be moving to Madison, Wisconsin, most likely, and I'll be living in my own apartment, and we're gonna start this whole new chapter of the YouTube channel. I obviously love living with my parents, but I think moving out will make the content so much more interesting. And finally, the last question I want to get into comes in from my guy, Carson, and he asked, what is the best app to trade stocks on? And well, Carson, that brings me perfectly to the end of this video, because if you guys wanna get your two free stocks with Weeble, please be sure to use the top link down below in the description. You'll get like 10 to $15, most likely, of free stocks, so if you don't like free money, don't sign up. But if you do, obviously sign up for Weeble using my link down below in the description. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video on Friday. It's a banger, so stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.